I am looking for a project today. I have no idea what we're going to make, but I do know we're going to make it from this. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. A few weeks ago, my neighbor Alex gifted me with this wonderful piece of cherry. I thought it was really cool. So I just put it in the shop and thought, well, we'll get to it sooner or later. Well, now we got to get to it sooner because looky, looky, we got special little visitors in the shop. <laughs> we got some sort of bug inside this wood that's eating the bark. And by judging by the color change, it's also eating some of the wood on the inside. Well, the last thing you want in your shop is a bunch of bugs that eat wood. <laughs> That's a bad thing. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, is just cut this up and see what we can get out of it that we can turn. This piece of wood's bone dry, but it sure weighs a lot. <laughs> Once I got it up here, and I looked at this. This is either a scar or a really cool burl. So I don't want to screw that up. I don't mind the cracks on the end because I like ugly wood. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut it across like this. We'll have a little piece of wood here that we could do a pith center bowl with and then also come across like this on the pith that way I part the burl off and I part another piece of wood off so if that's junk we got something here so let's just do a little bit of cutting oh god it's heavy <laughs> Oh, that's some beautiful cherry. That is really cool looking. This piece of wood has a great flat spot on it, so normally I'd put shims under here to keep it from rolling, but I don't have to. It's got a natural flat spot to it. So now we're going to split it down the center. Oh gosh, that's still heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this wood gets better and better and better. It's really pretty. Wow, that is awesome. One, two, three. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Catch a cherry tree by the toe. Um, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is interesting. This might turn out to be a total failure or it might be just amazing. So we're going to work with this piece. But to be able to get it on the lathe, I've got to go back to the bandsaw in a minute. But first, I want to flatten this top off because I'm going to need to put a drive center right there. So I'm just putting a 10 inch disc on here to give me an idea how to make this thing round because <laughs> I have terrible aim <laughs> with a bandsaw. Well, about anything else, too. <laughs> That's why you use plastic. There we go, a perfect circle. Before we get going on this, I do want to thank our sponsors, Robust Lays and Easywood Tools, because without their support, we wouldn't be here. And I really enjoy doing what we're doing, and I hope you do too, so because of them, we get to make these videos. Plus, by the way, I am a Robust dealer, so if you're ever looking for a lathe, <laughs> give me a call. Okay, now, what have we done? I have drilled a hole in the center of this blank and mounted it on a worm screw, and you can see over here, I can see through those little holes. That's a worm screw, and it's resting against the jaw, so it sucked it in really good. Now, for safety's sake, I'm going to bring my tailstock up and crank it in really, really good. This is going to be the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> At least right now it is. <laughs> so my idea is I want to start shaping this out, figure out a base, and figure out what the shape is going to be like, because this is really wonky looking, but I think that makes it fun. Yeah. 
Okay, let's stop this for a second. Oh, this is getting looking pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome looking stuff. Look at that. Burl in there. It's punky and it's tearing out, but hey, that's what you get sometimes. I love this void that's right here and more beautiful wood. This is going to be interesting. I do need to have a bottom so it'll sit on the bottom, so I'm probably going to have to cut into this a little bit more like that. But I'll just keep messing around with the shape for a bit and see what we get because I'm probably going to have to put a tenon on this end somehow, so I need some good strong wood to do that. Face mask down. Engage. So I've got my shape pretty close to where I want it, so now I'm shaping my tin in here. I'm using my easy wood point tool to make that tin in shape. You want a dovetail if you have dovetail jaws. Since I have the easy wood jaws, I have a dovetail for mine. Just take small cuts, just take the time. Anyway, let's stop this. I wanted to show you what it looks like <laughs> because this is really cool looking. Look at the burl in there. This is incredible. And the bugs have done a job on this. They've been underneath the bark doing all this work. This is going to be a buggy bowl. <laughs> so I want to try to preserve as much of this as I can. And Brian and I were talking off camera. It'd be really cool if we could keep this feature intact and intact and not cut so thin on the inside that this has a hole in it. A lot of that might be cool, and if it happens, it happens. But right now, we're thinking of just making this a thick buggy bowl. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to clean up my tenon, sand this thing, and then turn it around and hold it in the jaws to start working on the inside. We're all sanded to uh, 240 grit. This thing looks awesome. Look at the burl and the bark. That is cool. One weird thing we found was, what the heck is this? <laughs> this is sticking out of the wood. I'm not sure what it is. I have never heard of bugs that have fur. So let's see if we can extract this and see what comes out of there. That's all it is. Ah, it's kind of curly and black. I'm not, uh, okay, anyway, we're gonna reverse this now and start working on the inside. <laughs> so I'm beginning to hollow, and I know I've gotta get rid of the hole from the worm screw. But, you know, Brian and I were talking about it. In order to preserve that really cool bark look on the outside, we would have to leave the sidewall, here's that cool look right there. We'd have to leave the sidewall about this thick, which would be like, okay, this is not much use, right? Well, so what we're thinking of doing is making this a bug bowl dish. So I'm wanting to just scoop this out and just gently put a curve into here so it's still useful as a storage thing, or maybe it's art at that point. But why not? Think outside the box. I think it's going to be kind of cool. All I want to do is scoop it out enough. I get rid of that hole from the worm screw. I think it'll be a really striking look, especially once we put a finish on. So now I'm taking one light pass here. I got an easy way negative brake scraper on. And it leaves you with a beautiful finish that you're not gonna have to sand much with this. I'm probably gonna be able to start around 180, maybe 240 grit. But I like this idea. <laughs> Came out really well. This curve thing is cool because look at that beautiful wood in there. That grain is just amazing. A little bit of sanding there, then we're gonna be ready for a finish. Oh yeah, one more thing before we <laughs> put a finish on it. I gotta get rid of that foot. So I just put a chamois cloth here on my jaw chucks and then pushing it in. Start this off really slow, see how out around we are. Look, eh, pretty good, I like that. So I'm gonna just nibble away at this foot and get rid of it. 
Then we can play with putting a finish on. So I was going to use hand rub polyurethane on this, but <laughs> I guess my lid came loose and now I have a can of sludge. So I'm going to try hand rub Danish oil here and hand rub, put it on with a brush because I don't want to build this up so thick it's going to be gummy in this bark. So this used by dabbing it with a brush, I can kind of control how much goes on and come back and clean some off with the brush a little bit. But that bark is looking pretty doggone spectacular right there. Now let's go for some more fun stuff and see what the burl looks like on the base here. This bug bowl dish is going to be pretty cool. Oh man, look at that. So you let this soak in for a little bit and then you rub it off. I'll probably rub it off with a paper towel to get that to clean up. But that is really cool looking. See what the base looks like here. Oh man, that's awesome. Let's just go ahead and take a shortcut and go to the top now, because look at this. Now we can get a little sloppy because we're going to spread it around. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I am so impressed with this. Love the cracks in this. I love the character. Look at the grain. It's amazing. I, I just love ugly wood, and I really have to thank Alex, my neighbor, for being so kind to think of me when he found this piece of wood. It is spectacular. I will be gifting this to him very soon. Well, that is how you make <laughs> a bug bowl dish. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so until the next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools.